Hi, I'm Janeman Nordhagen. Uh, this is where the water tastes like wine. So talk about what this game's all about. Yeah, so this is a game about uh, traveling and telling stories. It's set in the Great Depression era of the United States, and uh, you wander the land, kind of uh, having little adventures, collecting stories, and uh, trading with folks to hear more about their tales. Um, it's a narrative game, but there isn't one story. There's actually 16 different characters, and they each have their own story. Uh, each of them was written by a different person, in fact. So it's sort of like a collection of short stories in video game form. And uh, you're, you're wandering around the U.S. It's an open world game, so you have the entire U.S. to wander. You have little adventures, you get stories from that, uh, and when you meet these characters, they'll ask you for, like, for example, um, can I have a scary story? And you kind of think back to your adventures and try and decide which ones were maybe scary. And if you tell this person, say, a scary story about death or about family or about traveling, they'll tell you something from their life about death or about family or about traveling. And uh, so you're using your stories as, as tools or as currency to kind of uh, unlock the narrative um, of these different characters. So talk about your art design in the game. It's very unique. Thank you, yeah, um, it is. Uh, we have uh, a couple different things going on. Um, we have our 2D illustrated style that you kind of see uh, when you're interacting with these characters. And that's based uh, uh, at least somewhat on um, uh, like woodblock prints, that very strong black line style. Um, it's an American art form kind of of the time. Um, and then we have a 3D world, and that is uh, sort of from the same like illustrated thing, but it's uh, inspired a little bit more by um, fruit crate labels, which are uh, you know a thing that you see on the side of produce boxes that make these farms look like these idyllic places, you know, these these wonderful places where potentially the water does taste like wine, right? So, are you gonna like learn more about history playing this game? You absolutely can. The, the characters you meet, they're all actually from uh, American history. Um, they're sort of maybe the neglected part of American history. So you can talk to a Pullman porter who's a member of like the first black union in the, in the U.S. Um, you can talk to a Navajo woman who was part of the long walk of the Navajo when the U.S. government forced the entire tribe to, to move. Um, you can talk to a World War I veteran who was part of the bonus march on Washington where they protested the U.S. government during the Depression for not paying their, their World War I bonuses. Uh, and all these different folks, you'll kind of learn their story over time. It's not really an educational game, though. It's more about the, the feeling of this time and about the themes of uh, uh, who, whether the American dream is attainable, and if so, who has access to it, right? Uh, so what inspired you to make a game like this that's so unique? Uh, yeah, so um, after the last game I worked on, I was sort of traveling the world, right? And I, I tried to avoid uh, planes because uh, getting into a plane and traveling is almost like teleportation. You know, you get in, you sit down, you watch a movie, you're somewhere else. You have no idea if you traveled over mountains or over desert or anything like that. So I was uh, taking trains and boats and buses and things all over the place. And uh, I was meeting with people and uh, kind of exchanging stories with them. This, this place is cool, watch out, you'll get your pocket picked here, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and I decided, uh, I was on a train in the middle of Siberia and I was thinking about what I might want to make next and I decided to uh, try and tackle a game about that feeling of traveling, right? And about trading stories with people. Uh, and I'm also really into American roots music, things like blues, bluegrass, jazz, uh, things like that. And I kind of wanted to bring in that world of uh, place where you can sell your soul to the devil at the crossroads, where there's like lonely gamblers looking for their big score, where there's vengeful ghosts haunting you, things like that. And so combining those two led to this game. Uh, so it's going to come out uh, early 2018. It'll be out on Steam first, uh, so PC, Mac, Linux, and then uh, a little bit later we'll be coming to consoles, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, and hopefully Switch as well.